a topic that you guys seem to be really interested in is retinol retinoids and different retinol products so today i wanted to show you two bits of the murat retinol youth renewal series which according to the murat website uses a triactive retinol technology but what does that actually mean let's find out hi i'm dr anne i'm a medical doctor with a passion for skincare that works on this channel, we explore the science behind skin and do quick reviews, so you learn to pick exactly those products that work for your individual skin concern. So if this is something you're interested in, please consider subscribing and ring the notification bell. Mura tells us that the tree active retinol technology delivers a gentle yet effective retinol treatment. In this line, Murad uses three different parts that make up its retinol complex. One is retinol, as in your regular over-the-counter retinol. And if you want to learn more about the different kind of retinoids, I did a whole video explaining it that I'm going to link up in the cards. But one part is a standard over-the-counter retinol. Then it uses retinyl propionate, which is a retinol ester. And if you have watched my video on retinoids, you might remember that retinol palmitate, the ester that I mentioned in this video, is actually that weak in effect that most people claim that it's useless when applied topically. But retinyl propionate is a different kind of ester, which has a different molecular weight and a different structure, which according to its manufacturer makes it more stable and more potent in penetrating the skin. There are, however, I want to be completely honest with you, not that many studies that back up this claim. It's something that we need a little more research on, but for the time being, this combined with retinol might add an extra boost in retinol effect without any added irritation. The third part of the triactive retinol technology is a so-called retinol booster and I sadly have no information what this retinol booster is, so I don't know if it will do or won't do anything for you. But that being said, let's look at the two products of the line that I tested. The first one is the Murat Retinol Youth Renewal Night Cream. And first things first, I adore the packaging. It looks like a regular pot, but it isn't. You need to press down here and then product will squirt out on top. So it's basically a pot with a pump, which means that the product inside is not exposed to bacteria or oxygen. You don't need to dip your fingers in a really hygienic and practical way of packaging. One pump is enough for your whole face, two pumps are needed if you apply to your face, neck and décolleté. The cream itself is pretty nourishing without being greasy. I admit that it's a little heavier than I usually like my night cream to be, which might be because of the added shea butter inside, but it is lightweight enough that it sinks in immediately and doesn't feel suffocating on the skin. Ingredient-wise, it does contain retinol, it does contain retinyl propionate as ester and obviously the so-called booster, but I can't tell you which one it is, and it also contains dimethicone and scolane as emollients. Other noticeable ingredients are glycerin, and urea as humectants as well as vitamin E as antioxidant and several plant extract that claim to have other benefits. It also contains zinc gluconate which is anti-inflammatory and might help if you have acne. I know some people don't get along with shea butter but I usually think it depends on the formulation rather than the ingredient. I used this cream for around a month on my face exclusively and did not suffer from block pores or breakouts. It has a notable scent that I personally am not the biggest fan on. It's kind of cream with a hint of floral, but it's not that intense that you keep on smelling it on your face. I just wish it was, yeah not there. It contains fragrance to achieve this and it contains citronellol as part of essential oils. I have used it both on my face as well as neck and décolletage. My face is used to prescription retinoids so I did not notice any irritation or retinol effect when using it on my face but I was able to use it on my neck and décolleté which are very very sensitive to strong retinoids so I would personally classify the retinol effect as mild so I think it's great for beginners and less great for experienced prescription retinoid users. Moving on to the retinol youth renewal eye serum this is again packaged in a pump. One pump is enough for your under eye area. It is much more lightweight than the night cream. 
it is called a serum, so that was to be expected. And the reason for that is it barely contains any emollients and it contains no silicone. So it feels much more lightweight, it's really easy to spread, feels very hydrating underneath the skin. Both the night cream and the eye serum have the retinol and the retinyl propionate after about a third of the ingredient list, which gives you a hint that the concentration is not that high. Less emollients means that this has less essential oil, so there's no citronelle oil. There is, however, still fragrance. It smells more like a cream with less of a floral note to it, and the fragrance in this one is much more lightweight. So you notice it if you sniff your hand after you applied some on the back of your hand, but not if you wear it under your eyes. I have used this as well for around a month without any irritation. Now you can argue that I'm used to using retinol creams around my eyes, but I would still say that this is more of a mild retinol effect. I, however, really enjoyed how it made my under eye area look. It looked plump, it looked fresh. And even though I tend to wear retinol products throughout the night, it worked well under makeup. If you have a really dry under eye area, this might not be enough for you. You might need to pair it with a dedicated cream on top, but despite the fact that this is called a serum, I did not feel the need to put anything on top. This on its own was enough for my eyes. So if you ask me if the Murat Retinol Youth Renewal line is worth your money, I have not tried all the products from the line, but I really enjoyed the two that I was sent for testing. These are, however, not for you if you have severe acne or need a really prescription strength the retinal effect. These are more for everyday use, no irritation and some anti-aging benefits over time. They are not the most affordable, but I think the texture is really nice and I'm a really big fan of the packaging, which makes me inclined to pay a little more. This one will not be used on my face continuously. I'm going to pass it on to my mother because I will switch back to prescription to keep my acne at bay, but I can see this one becoming a staple in my routine. Please tell me in the comments below if you have any experience with the Murat skincare line. Let me know if you have any further questions. I'm going to link to more retinal videos on the screen now, and I'm going to see you all very soon with another one. Bye.